Hi guys and welcome to another beer review. Today we're going over to Brussels at the Mort Subite Brewery or Mort Subita. Um, I'm not too sure how that's pronounced. Probably should have looked it up. Uh, I did have to quickly look up how to pronounce the actual style of beer and uh, Goza. I think that's how it's pronounced. Not to be mistaken with Goza or Goza. But it is a uh, you know, somewhat sour beer. And I think this is uh, basically Goza is a is it a mixture of um, an old and a young lambic beer? Something on those lines. But yeah, this is the Mort Subita. I'm not too sure. I apologise profusely for my mispronunciation. No matter what country, I even mispronounced some really clear British ones. I once, and uh, deleted the video, mispronounced a maritime stout as a Marmite stout. So um, yeah, anyway. First beer that I've had from these guys, and I think these are owned by Heineken now, I'm not too sure, but um, yeah, really nice looking artwork on this one, nice and simple. If the label wasn't damaged, it'd be a keeper, and uh, yeah, it comes in a 35, well, 37.5 centilitre bottle, clocking in at 4.5%, and it's caged and corked, so hopefully this will be an easy beer to open. So let's see if I can go, it's coming off quite easy actually, don't want it to explode everywhere. Made a nice pop there, nice amount of steam coming out of that, steam, smoke, well smoke isn't any better really is it? Anyway, very satisfying pop. Not really getting too much on the on the neck of the bottle. Sort of like um, quite a a mellow, spicy, yeasty, slightly fermented fruit. Let's hope it develops a bit in the glass. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I've had a couple of Lambics. I mean, I've had a couple of beers from Lindemann's. And uh, one was really, really nice. The other was nice, but it just tasted like, um, you know, like a Copperberg, mixed fruit Copperberg, which, you know, they're not bad. Um, flavor wise but I know there are much better ciders and fruit beers out there but um, yeah that wasn't too bad but um, where am I going with that yeah nicely presented pick this up in Beretta um, I think it's a little bit more expensive than what you'd pay for back in the UK even though I think the ones in the UK were in a different style of bowl I'm not too sure I uh, don't know the ins and outs of this one it's first for me and I thought I'd shoot a review of it because I'm hosting a live show in a little bit so I thought I'd kill some time before people actually join the hangout. So anyway, beer in the glass, and that is a, a really nice orangey, rusty amber colour. It's got, I don't know, is that a haze? I can't really tell too much. Light isn't really working with me. I don't have poured enough beer in the glass anyway to see through it properly. I mean, you can lightly see through it. But it's not really a haze, but there is nice amounts of steady carbonation going all the way up to that thin layer of a never so slightly off white head but um yeah it looks nice looks nice and rich so let's see what we get on the aroma and yeah i get that fermented fruit smell a little bit of like a sickly sweet sugar note a little bit of herbage a little bit of leafage in there as well foliage that sort of thing Definitely pick up a bit of yeast and like slightly soft like apples that have gone a little bit past their best. That sort of thing where they squelch a little bit when you touch them. I'm getting that sort of vibe from it. It's definitely, you can tell that it's been fermented for a long time. Um, yeah, it's just got, got that feel of it like that sort of dank, damp sort of wet sort of smell if you get my drift but it's got this slightly sickly sweet element to it as well so anyway it smells okay these aren't my favorite styles of beers just because i find the flavors to be a little bit too i don't want to say intense but for my palate it's like with barley wines um there's just something about the style which they're nice every now and then but you couldn't like that couldn't be like your go-to style i mean barley wines anyway you know the Upwards of like seven, eight, nine percent going up all the way to the early, you know, 
teens, as it were. Anyway, let's give this a taste. Cheers. Yeah, it's definitely what I get on the aroma. But I get like a really strong apple juice sort of flavour with this one. That carbonation is really nice and gentle. Leaves it a bit watery, but it's at the same time like making my mouth water as well. There's like a slight sherbet lemon tingle when it first hits your palate. And you get that like sickly sweet fermented flavouring there as well. And it's one of those things where it sort of reminds me of, and this is going to sound absolutely horrendous to a lot of people, but like sometimes if you've had like lots of like jelly sweets or something like that, or if you've got like acid reflux, or you know, you've been vomiting after like something really sweet that you'd last eaten and you get that flavour in your mouth, that like sickly sweet, slightly tart flavour. That's the sort of flavour that I'm getting in this one. I've got like a slightly sweet honey flavour as well. These beers are definitely, they're for a distinct taste, you know, they're not for everyone. It's definitely got that fruit juice sort of vibe to it. A lot more fruitier than uh, a lot of people would like to have. And it's, yeah, it's that slightly fermented, almost rotten apple sort of characteristic that I just can't shake from my head. And then you get this sort of like when you've got the aftertaste of vomit after something sweet. But in a nice way. Um, it's only 4.5%. It's got a really light body. But you're not going to chug this one. Uh, well, I definitely won't. This is definitely a sipper. And I think, I mean, it's been out of the fridge for about 20 minutes or so. So as it warms up, I'm guessing it won't be as intense. So it might intensify in terms of that sickly sweet element. But uh, yeah, if you were having a little bit of a session and you've got like a, a nice pilsner or a lager or something there, and then every now and then you can have a couple of sips of this, then, you know, cleanse your mouth with like a, another sort of beer. Sounds really ridiculous to do that. But yeah, it's one of those ones where if you had a big bottle of this, you'd probably want to share it with people. It's got that sort of like um, like brandy, slight apple mead sort of flavour. The sort of stuff you get at like a Christmas market where it's like a liqueur, that sort of thing. But you do get definitely get the, you know, <coughs> excuse me, yeah, very sickly on the burp as well. You do get that sort, you do get that malty um element to it as well you get like a nice belgian strong ale sort of yeast character in there which adds a little bit of spiciness so it's not completely you're not getting this you know completely overwhelmed by this sweetness on your tongue but that is the predominant flavor and uh yeah i'll definitely be taking my time with this one but yeah it's not that bad of a beer um and it's it just goes to show that even when big conglomerates like the Heinekens and that sort of thing when they do take over or buy our bub a beer. I mean, I can't really compare this to before then because this is the first time that I've tried it. But it doesn't taste like it's been tinkered with. And I'm guessing with this sort of beer, different batches will taste different throughout the year. Um, or maybe even from bottle to bottle. I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, it's got that tart fruit juice, a little bit sickly sweet. But all in all, it's not a bad beer. And I think in terms of a rating, I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. Just because it's it's not completely my thing. But I'm going to enjoy the rest of this one. I'm probably going to end up just having like a, a Hellas beer while I'm drinking this one as well. Just to make sure I'm not completely overwhelmed by that sweetness. Because the more I talk about it, the more I'm getting it. My mouth's feeling a little bit more sticky. But yeah, not too bad. 7 out of 10. So if you've tried this beer or any others from this brewery, let me know your thoughts, opinions. What's your favourite beer in this style? That sort of stuff. Uh, hit me up in the comments. And uh, yeah, check out my Belgian beer review playlist down below for more beers. And uh, yeah, it, it'd be good to take around to a friend's house. It's got that sort of like fruit wine element as well. Like the, the sour grapes, that sort of stuff. Slightly sour, not too much. It's just that sweetness almost completely overrides everything else but it just tinkers on the limit where it's just a little bit too sweet but yeah seven out of ten 
And uh, yeah, I've waffled on, repeated myself as usual. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you'll join me for the next peer review. See you later, guys, and cheers.